Hello my beauty bots and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Faith. Now a while back we did a deep dive on eHarmony and I really feel like some of y'all enjoyed that. I think it gave you some insight into a great possibility as far as if you're new to online dating or if you're looking for something maybe that's a little bit more successful. The other day I was sitting in bed with my person and we were watching Hulu and there was an advertisement for a new dating platform um, specifically geared towards the LGBTQ plus team or groups. So we're going to look at that today. We are going to look at a new app. We are going to do a deep dive and yes, I am setting up my own profile to walk you guys through and no, I am still heterosexual. <laughs> this is just to show you guys exactly what the benefits would be um, if my profile, how that process goes and if I'm matched with anybody who I feel like I would legitimately, you know, potentially be interested in. So we're going to do that today. Before we do get started, remember. Any other fun content will be linked up here. Everything that you need to know will be in the description box along with links to my social media, uh, my website at faithinginellis.com, and you can send me any kind of dating stories, uh, whether they're success, fails, whatever, to faithinginellis, nope, nope, mm -mm to faith.ingen101 at yahoo.com and just put in the subject line dating fails, uh, whether it's a fail, a success story, or just, you know, your story. If it's dating fails, at least that way I know what it's related to and I won't just throw it away. I think that is all. So let's get started. Okay, now the first thing I'm going to do is actually go through my phone. I'm going to put this on screen record and download the app. So the app that we're looking at is called, I think it's pronounced Tammy. It's T-A-I-M-I. And like I said, this is a um, LGBTQ plus specifically for that group, which I think is great because it kind of offers a more safe space versus if you're on a more traditional kind of dating platform. Now this is free and available on Apple and the Play Store, which awesome, that's what we need. Okay, which I'm downloading it on the Play Store. I don't think my screen recorder started. There we go. Okay. Um, so yeah, their, their tagline is that it's made specially for gay, lesbian, bi, transgender, queer, intersex, and anyone else on the gender and sexuality spectrum. Now, a couple of, like, I guess features, we'll say, is, you know, it's really easy to use. It has everything you need. It has a go-to discovery section. It has a user's digest section, which is kind of like a blog. It has a particular area where you can create and follow certain groups. Um, it has a, what they call Tammy Protect, which is multiple layers of verification. Um, there is a premium version. I have not looked into how expensive that is yet, but you have rainbow likes. Um, you have your rollbacks, which is where you swipe left and you didn't mean to, you can roll it back. And then you have a spot search, which is to look for a match from any place in the world with the spot search. So other features include unlimited likes and rainbow likes, XL filters, which is an extended set of filters that lets you pick additional search criteria. All right, so we're gonna, we've got the, uh, the little, the app. So I'm looking down because I'm looking at the app on my phone. I'll have everything screen recorded and pop that up right here. And we are going to just continue with our phone. We'll do our mobile number, that's cool, 884. 
So it's sending me an SMS code. Da, 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 da. Oh wow, that's, oh here we go. Okay, cool. And we're going to allow location. So it's asking me my name, I'm filling that out. Um, I'm not gonna show this part because it's asking like my date of birth and stuff like that. So I'm just kind of talking y'all through. Okay, so now it's asking who am I, and it has a rainbow selection of male, female, trans male, trans female, intersex, and non-binary. We're going to choose female, and it's asking who we're looking for. So it has those same options. I am going to choose a male. I don't think there's any heterosexuality on this app, but we never know. So it's going to ask us to show a photo. And I'm not going to show this part just because, but I'm going to choose from my library. Okay, so it asks what field you work in. I am going to put, I guess I'll put art and design. And it has this beautiful rainbow selection of who you are. So I am an athlete. I am a foodie. I am a dog person. I am, I'm a binge watcher, I'm a bookworm, I am a traveler, okay, and we'll hit continue, and it goes into some more, this is more about your personality, I am passionate, I'm adventurous, I'm caring, I'm curious, I'm spiritual, I feel like I'm loyal and humble. I am chill. I'm freaky. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, I might be, but y'all don't need to know that. They don't need to know that. All right, so we're going to hit continue. Now it asks you to describe yourself in a couple of sentences. So, I am a busy female testing this app for my YouTube deep dive <laughs> at Faith Ellis. Oops. Faith Ellis on YouTube. <laughs> LOL. Okay. <laughs> That's all. I don't know. All right. So specify the age range of your preferred partner. The age range cannot be less than five years. So that's, that's interesting. They will not let you choose somebody less than five years younger than you. Is that what that means? That must be what that means. That's interesting. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but I wouldn't want anyone younger than me. So we're just going to do that. Okay, I'm looking for, you can choose dates, chat, long-term friends. So we'll just do chat just because I'm not looking for anything. <laughs> All right, so now members found matching your criteria. It has like 47,000 something, I think. Okay, so here we go. So for a seven-day trial, it's $0, and then it's $4.99. So this app does cost. Now, you have an option of doing a 50% discount and paying monthly, which is $9.99. So the $4.99 is for a week, and then you have a 72% discount if you pay for 12 months at $71.99. Of course, we are going to do the seven-day trial. And there's little eggplants. Oh, gosh. All right, so I'm going to do this. I'm not going to show this. Of course, I'm going to cancel as soon as this happens, but... We are subscribing. Let's do, let me make a teeny note. Cancel. Tammy, obviously. Okay. No, thank you. Now it's processing. So I already have three rainbow lights. I don't know if that's legitimate. So it says, congratulations. You can enjoy these features. You have a Tammy boost, which become a top profile for 60 minutes to get 10 times more matches. So it'll put your profile at the top. You have uh, see your visitors where you can see everyone who visited your profile and like and message them instantly. You have a nearby search to shrink your distance filter down to five miles and connect with people nearest to you. You have rollbacks where you can undo if you actually accidentally swipe left. You have auto likes where you can send more likes. There's a spot search, your rainbow likes, 
unlimited extra filters and you can see all incoming likes and increase your activity limit or come back tomorrow with get more actions. Okay, got it. So, I don't know. That was a lot. This definitely, okay, so event, immediately this is kind of set up like Twitter, not Twitter, Tinder. <laughs> you have a pass or like on somebody's profile. You don't really see much information. All you kind of see is their picture. So already, I feel like this app, even though you pay for it, is far more casual than something like our eHarmony deep dive that we did or like our, um, we haven't done another deep dive, but I still feel like eHarmony and what is it, Match.com are above this if you're looking for something that is more long term. And that's not to say that Tammy doesn't have long term options. I'm sure that they have people on here 100% that are long term. It just already feels like extremely casual. And it already has, so if you click on somebody's profile, it has a uh, pre-made or whatever messages that you can send. And you can already see they're a little bit, like they're not serious. They're like, howdy doody, hi winky face, are you here? Oh, that's probably if you're actually, actually kind of on a date. Finally found you, do you want to hang out monkey closing his eyes? Like it's very, very casual. I feel like that's just my opinion um people post in their breakfast um anyone want to chat like it's just yeah it, it's very casual it's definitely not something I would be on um immediately of course there are likes looking at my profile um, you can create a post, you can join a group which has like hangout hubs, Tammy's gamers hubs, how's your head, I don't know what that is, curious lads, Tammy's travelers, Galerius, Tammy's cuties, so it's got a bunch, blacks and hispanics, it's got a bunch of different groups that you can uh, follow. If you go to edit your profile, you can upload more photos, you can connect with your Instagram. Um, you can, yeah, you can connect a bunch of different, so your Instagram, Spotify, Snapchat, TikTok, you can connect a bunch of your other little social media platforms. You can go in and you can change like who you're looking for, your about me. It's profile is definitely not as in depth as eHarmony's was. And we already know eHarmony's whole questionnaire to basically understand your personality and match you based off of that information is far more in depth than this thing of course so i feel like this was really quick it doesn't look like it actually matches me really it's just kind of like it kind of gives me people like okay you have a dog i would but I don't know anything about you versus the eHarmony. I could go through their profile and be like, okay, that matches me. That matches me. That matches me. This dude, like, I don't know. So if you click their name, it takes you to their profile. All it says is looking to expand horizons, meet new people. I'll try anything twice more if it doesn't hurt. <laughs> so he's a geek. He's a binge washer. He's a dog person. He's looking for dates. He's 33. It is just a very, very uh, surface level. I guess I have to pass him to get to somebody else. Oh, no. So I can just scroll up without actually passing people, I guess, or not. No. It will show you if people are online. I like that. This dude has 426 friends. He's following 4,000 people and has 500 followers. This is not a dating site. This is his social media, like 100%. So it has stories. So it basically is a social media account. It's like, y'all, I, I don't know about this. I... Okay, so I think that this is a great option if you are like, 
if you're looking for, you know, something that is much more inclusive. And that's something that I feel like a lot of other social media platforms are missing if you do fall into a different box of sexuality. Um, the issue is I don't, I don't take it seriously. I don't take it seriously. It feels too much like Snapchat and Tinder had a baby and this is the afterbirth. <laughs> I don't care for it, but if y'all have used Tammy, if you found success with it, definitely let me know in the comments. Remember to subscribe. If there's a deep dive on an app that you guys want me to do, let me know in the comments below while I sit here and pick my own hair out of my shirt because that's how long hair does. And I will catch you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.